Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Join me today as I show you how to make this cute little pedestal that you can use next to your kitchen sink or wherever you so choose for under $5 with products all bought at the Dollar Tree. We're gonna use one of these bucket, or I don't know what you'd call it. Anyway, <laughs> the Dollar Tree has them several times a year. I know they've had them at, on Valentine's Day. I think they have them at Christmas, and they obviously have them at Halloween. Anyway, all we're gonna do is we're gonna use the lid. We don't need this part, so we'll just set that aside. And then we're gonna use a candle holder, also bought at the Dollar Tree. And I am going to paint mine black, so um, I'm all out of black chalk paint. So what I'm going to use is chalkboard paint that, yes, I bought at the Dollar Tree. And it, it works just fine. It uh, doesn't have a shiny finish, a gloss finish, so it's more of a matte finish. But it works just fine. So, you know, use what you got if you, if you have anything that will work. And also, um, I'm going to use uh, this piece of foam board, poster board, that I have left over from an old project because I want to put a piece of it in the lid to kind of give it a little, make it a little more sturdy. So, let's get to doing this. dried. Okay, I'm before I glue the top onto the candlestick, I'm going to do a little bit of embellishment on it and I'm just going to hopefully not cut myself. There we go. <laughs> I'm just going to use this white off the crying out loud. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the um a white crafter square metallic marker. I don't know that it's metallic, but that's how they have it labeled. Anyway, these are so much easier to work with, for me anyway, than trying to use a paintbrush. <laughs>
that's a little different. I don't know that I like it, but it probably won't show because it'll be up underneath that, you know, I don't think it's really going to show that much. But I just kind of wanted to show you that you can do all kinds of things with these markers. You know, I could continue that on down, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> but I would like to give this these lines around here, I would like to give them another coat of the white because it looks like it could use a second coat. I'm just... That goes by pretty quick once you already have the first one on there. And it just really makes a big difference. <clears throat> they also, at the Dollar Tree, have the uh, other colors of the metallic pins. They have a silver one and a gold. And I think they also have a rose gold. Yes, I know they do. Why? I don't know why I said I think they do. I know they do because I've... <laughs> I've bought it before. <laughs> so it doesn't obviously have to be this white, but you can see that, you know, going over it a second time really makes all the difference. Okay. Now, one thing I did on my, the one that I originally made, I took that marker and I went around all the scallops which I think would look really good because otherwise I think it just kind of blends in too much. I think it gives it more, you know, it makes it stand out more, I think, makes the scalloped edge st stand out more if you do that. And it just kind of, you know, dresses it up a little bit. Now, if you do this, go around the scallops like this with one of these pins or whatever pin you use, don't try to use the tip. This is just a recommendation. Clearly, you can do it however you want. You can do it with the tip and just follow the edge. But for me, how I have better control with that is if I lay this side of the tip if I just lay it flat right against that edge and just follow that edge around. Oops, of course I do it up close so you can see and I do it wrong. Yeah, just I needed to move it up just a little bit. Then you're up. There's no one right way to do any of this stuff. Whatever works best for you and whatever suits your taste. That turned out pretty nice. It gives it a little bit of contrast. I think that's going to look really cute. And you can do all kinds of embellishments on these, on this. So whatever you decide to do, make it your own. Now to glue, all we have left to do is glue the bottom to the top. And this is my E6000 glue, this stuff. You want to have, you want to glue something and have it last forever? This is the stuff. I have to use my needle nose pliers to get the lid off because it gets a little sticky on there. I'm going to use E6000 for a permanent hold and some of my and part of hot glue for an instant hold, just you know, for the sake of this video. I need a new tube of this stuff. On. There we go. In order to center it, 
evenly, if you don't already know this, you probably do, but instead of trying to put the top onto the bottom, put the bottom onto the top this way. Then that way you've got, you can look right down over it and you have a better idea of where it's centered at. Okay. There we go. Okay. And we have a pedestal tray. Cute! And there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video, you guys. I've really enjoyed having you here with me. And I do so appreciate you watching. So I will see you in the next video. Happy crafting!